we haven't seen as well so that is one of the funny part of part to it so let's explore what is the dancing place today थिला बहुत दिन भांगी बहुत दिन हमें छुआ बेड़ भांगी जाती ए बे हो छ रिसेंटली पानी टंकीडा हो छ ना आगुर न थले पानी पतले न थले और पानी अच्छी बहुत कष्ट बहुत कष्ट अपना पानी को डान चंदी पानी से जो 
quite uh, untouched from the big city uh, that is bhubneswar um, people living here are uh, tribal people and uh, um, there is no pakka road also to this village so by that means you can understand that uh, how old uh, i mean how untouched this village is so we are inside uh, the chandaka forest division and uh, we can hear the voice of uh, peacocks. peacocks so by this you can understand we are inside the heart of uh, chandaka <laughs> the moment is in very bad shape due to lack of the interest of our government it used to be a nice place but again uh, due to lack of maintenance now it's dying at the course of time it's a here people call this place as rani kunda queen's bath's place maybe you know the queen used to rule this area maybe sometime yeah. she visit this place to take her bath <laughs> so uh, whatever we found here uh, are uh, these uh, things like the stones are uh, being dismantled and uh, only the boundaries of the fort are visible nothing else i think this is quite uh, this fort is like uh, some uh, thousand years old <laughs> we need to search google um, but we need to see uh, what was the significance of this fort and uh, this fort uh, is uh, in the heart of uh, chandaka jungle so this area comes under the chandaka forest uh, division so the people uh, residing in this place uh, are uh, quite poor uh, that they are tribal people and uh, they do not have proper house to live in even government is not making any uh, pakka house in this area because this area is under uh, the forest division and they cannot uh, provide uh, the permanent settlement to these people so yeah everything is under government policy politics uh, ruins the indians uh, like some great people have said so yeah this is the place which you can see these are the boundary of the fort but uh, there is no such uh, big fort which we can show you but, uh, but no. the journey was quite awesome uh, i think we had to trek this place no we trek through different tribal villages yeah we had to go through those villages to come to this place because it's not accessible to be frank this rani gadwa pond is really 
you can't come here through any vehicle or through any other means so you need to track and throw you need to trek to reach this place uh, i would say but during this trekking you know you will enjoy the trek because it's quite natural and full of natural beauty you will see fertile lands uh, you will see the tribal people how they do their farming here it's different than the the normal people do farming nowadays it's quite different so it is shows the old way of farming that generally happens in rural part of our india <music> So friends, we have come to Chandaga jungle. Uh, this is one of the reserve area where I can see uh, elephant sanctuary. I will say this one. elephant friends you can see <laughs> my god this elephant is having is evening snacks it seems see this snacks item you can see it's foods i think that this is another one don't know their names So friends, here we are. Today we came to Chandaka Elephant Sanctuary. You can see behind us there are two two elephants uh, having their evening snacks, I would say. And uh, there is another elephant, which is my friend Hathi. So it's nice to see all of them in one picture. It's good to see. <laughs> Anything you want to say? Nothing. Uh, feels, feels good to see my friends after uh, so many years. It's it's like you have been departed in a. Uh, no. He has really a good task. To see. Yeah. You see, doing two two tasks. Generally, you know, hardly we can see a elephant with task because of uh, the wildlife. Uh, trafficking that's happening nowadays it's really rare to see them with their tusk but we are lucky enough to get one with their tusk good anything else you want to add at sushan nothing i am just enjoying the beauty of this place uh, it feels good to come to a 
area which has uh, so much uh, green cover and uh, to see such gigantic creatures in front of you it's like uh, feels like quite uh, amazing yeah let's explore some 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 something that we haven't seen yet let's explore so friends we are entering into the elephant sanctuary now let's see what we can find inside we'll show you whatever we'll find inside actually if you see this place is full of trees because it's a forest area uh, and if you can see these are big big tunnels they have built here to safeguard the nearby people because uh, this jungle is full of elephants so anytime they can generally they you know walk in their evening times for their foods they generally sometime cross the roads and go to nearby villages and make some damages to safeguard them they have built those tunnels and this road leads to deeper jungle or uh, many more you know elephant resides <laughs> So friends, you know, how do you feel seeing this scenery? See, this path leads to deeper jungle where you can find deers, elephants. What else, Sushant? Anything else? I don't know. You have you need to explore. And you have come here. I don't know anything. About don't know anything? Okay, sounds good. Okay, let's explore together. If you don't know, that is also fine. But see the scenic view of this place this, this area whole area comes under Chandaka forest department so we have come at least uh, three to four kilometers inside the jungle we have not found anything till now let's see uh, wish us uh, some luck so that we can find some wildlife inside uh, the deep forest it's been 30 minutes since we are walking inside the jungle but we have not found a single small ant so i don't know if it was a waste of time coming inside the jungle <laughs> this jungle has nothing except uh, monkeys we can only hear the sound of monkeys but we cannot find anything here people say uh, Elephants are there, but don't know who saw them. <laughs> we do not find anything here. <laughs> we are still walking. Hopeful, yeah, Pragya is saying he, hopeful, he is hopeful he will find uh, one elephant inside the jungle. So still, uh, because of uh, Pragya's hope, uh, we are going inside. Let's see how much we can find, how many elephants we can find. But uh, at uh, the uh, registration counter, the person sitting there, he said uh, there is some jungle safari carts going inside. So if we use them and go inside the deep uh, jungle of uh, this area, then uh, we can find some uh, elephants. Also some peacocks we can find. But apart from that, I don't know. What all creatures are there? So while going inside we found two different paths But we don't know where to go So yeah, which way should we go? Why? Do you believe uh, you will get some creatures on that way? But this way is also looking quite... Uh, so this way is uh, looking quite uh, unexplored. So shall we go on this way? Why? Straight, uh, I see tire marks. So it is quite busy. 
As you wish, let's go on that way. So we are going quite deep into the jungle. Till now we have not found any wild creatures. Uh, people say there are uh, elephants, deers, leopards inside this jungle. But till now we have not found anything. Let's let's go a little bit far and see what's the situation up there. Our friend uh, Pragya has gone inside into this uh, bush. Uh, he is uh, thinking that he will find some creatures, small creatures at least, so that he can film it. Let's see uh, how his luck is. So these are the jungle paths with, uh, through which the wildlife creatures go. These are the small, small highways, you can say, the uh, jungle highways where uh, the wildlife pass during the night. Okay, did you find anything inside that? Really scary. So why did you go inside then? We are trying to see something which we can cost to our viewers, uh. but uh, I didn't get anything. I told you it's three really times. Scary I, to go inside. I told you three times not to go inside. There yeah. might be some harmful creatures inside yeah, yeah. but still you don't believe me you are a, really a fool okay you came to uh, trek inside the wildlife sanctuary right yeah. what kind of shoes and helmet uh, did you bring why did you bring the helmet inside the wildlife sanctuary well, why are you laughing <laughs> tell me the reason you are such a nice guy you come with chappal at least i have some uh, chappal uh, <laughs> you came with chappal okay sorry but i didn't knew that uh, there is no, there is no... i didn't know that uh, okay, you will so be like, trekking today sir, sir, so you do not have any plan right so wherever you go you should do some planning and you should come no, right no, no, that's you knew planning. you knew f from the morning that you will be going to a jungle trek and no, you didn't tell me that you decided. you had decided earlier you Today morning you said I have a plan and we'll go in the evening. That you said, but you never said we'll be trekking. And you told me you didn't tell me to bring shoes. Even I came with chappals. I didn't know we were going to trek. I know we are going to trek. Okay, okay, but uh, if same. Find out something. But why did you bring your helmet inside the jungle? You fuck inside the jungle also you feel uh, your helmet you, is unsafe. See, while huh? coming you, you are smart enough to put your helmet inside your bike and you left me alone. He is again going into the bus and he is trying to check his luck if he can find anything. Again, come soon, okay? So, Pragyan, did you find anything inside? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw, no, how, like, whenever rain happens, how the water makes their path. You can see the, the paths made by rain water. It's natural, like, no... Have you no. ever not seen those things in your hometown? Or that any... Different, no. Inside the jungle, the volume of rain happens, and the volume of water pass through a path. It digs a lot of no, earth out of it and makes its own path. So, it's really... so you are talking shit, man. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I don't know how to put it, but I'm trying. Trying. Someday I'm thinking I'll I'll be able to put it in a better way. Let's see. Again, see your home. Okay. Okay, I believe you. But I'll not go inside. Because I know there is nothing inside. You are just a bluff bluffer. Yeah, I will live thousand years because my name is live for the thousand years, not me.
we are inside this jungle uh, since last uh, one and a half uh, hour but uh, we did not find any uh, uh, creature as such but uh, the environment we are in uh, it's quite uh, refreshing we are enjoying this uh, area enjoying this environment it uh, makes us feel uh, more uh, lively yeah how did you feel coming to this uh, jungle today i would say this is a refreshing one you know once in a week you should go to a greenery place where you'll get fresh oxygen it's really feels very refreshing when you visit any you no know, green area greenery place like park if you're lucky enough to nearby to any this kind of place like this forest is a forest area any sanctuary you must visit those places really refreshing and you will enjoy walking inside the forest uh, the natural sound in here you hear inside a jungle uh, it's, you can't hear in city there will be chattering of birds some sound of unknown animals it's nice i would say and this scenic beauty it's splendid so susant how was your experience today no it was really nice man thanks to you to bring the uh, me to this place all this pleasure is mine uh, it's pleasure it's, no it feels quite refreshing actually yeah, yeah i think the fresh oxygen uh, mm. which is hardly you get inside the city inside the city you will just uh, inhale the toxic gases yeah so staying inside city has uh, some pros but there are many cons also yeah you don't get that natural things that uh, you know, nature makes is you... always present you know nature yeah. uh, you should be always close to nature uh, whenever you get some time you always try to come to the uh, come as close uh, as you can to the nature so that uh, you can feel uh, pretty uh, like pretty energetic good. Yeah, yeah yeah energetic also and you are seems to be so tired i think no, i'm you... not tired i was just editing certain things in my mobile okay that's so, good that's good and also this corona is corona corona everywhere uh, whenever you open uh, the news or uh, social facebook media. or any social media you'll find this corona news everywhere and also yeah. the videos which, which are circulating it's quite disheartening to see i think that that's where we are coming right yeah. we want to spread that good news that's why we are coming up with this kind of content yeah Our it's user... quite risky also traveling so far uh, coming in touch of so many people on the way uh, it's like a little bit uh, um, scary to see so many um, uh, like uh, so many uh, this ambulance going around uh, making sirens and you will feel like what's going on in this world this corona has created havoc man yeah that's true i don't know we can, if uh, it we is can true. pray yeah. at least to the for the safer world we don't know when it will end but let's pray mm. people get well let's sooner. pray to god uh, this uh, bloody corona goes away from uh, this earth and yeah. uh, people live a good and uh, prosperous life yeah so guys and friends we are Uh, closing our video with this note we'll be traveling back from this deep forest to the entrance uh, so yeah. again it will take around 1 hour and so uh, so we came inside uh, the uh, forest uh, we thought we'll find some small creatures at least but we could not find anything still we are happy because uh, yeah the, the environment we, got. we uh, uh found uh, the experience we got and uh, the air which we inhaled uh, made us fresh made us fresh and uh, mm, yeah we are quite energetic and we are uh, good to go for the next week yeah <laughs> next week really bl- work. <laughs> yeah it's really blissful i would say yeah we can start our work from tomorrow onwards on a fresh note thank you very so okay guys stay safe
Stay yeah. healthy. Eat, uh, drink lot of uh, good food. Especially uh, take vitamin C. I think yeah. that is one of the important thing that adds to our immunity. Drink some the... kada. Drink some karela juice. Yeah. And uh, also drink uh, good uh, and plenty amount of water. Yeah. Which will keep you keep your immunity at a very good level. And, yeah. Uh, this uh, corona will never touch you. Yeah. Yeah. Also do workout every day, some kind of workout, yoga, bit, any physical exercise. Make sure you do that. It adds to your immunity as well. Okay. Yeah. Bye guys.